cooking with Papa P. I'm getting ready to fix up uh, some dinner for the family tonight. Tonight I'm going to be making a Manhattan style shrimp scampi. I've got some great jumbo wild shrimp here that I'm going to start cleaning up and then we'll get started. Okay, now for the fun part, we're going to go ahead and peel the shrimp. And then after I get all the shrimp peeled, I'm going to go ahead and uh, begin to devein them. And I'll show you that shortly. You can actually buy shrimp already peeled in the vein, but uh, they cost a little bit more. Uh, it, it, when you buy shrimp uh, not already peeled, it makes it more affordable. And you can buy good quality shrimp uh, for your dinners. All right, down to the final shrimp. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove the vein, we'll call it. We're going to go ahead and just slice it right from the top to the bottom of the tail and then pull that vein right out. All right, shrimp are all cut. Now we're going to go ahead and clean up the insides of the uh, shrimp here. Pull them all out, very simple. And you want to use cold water. And if you're not going to use the shrimp right away, if you want to get these prepared in advance, uh, be sure to put these over ice. So this way they stay nice and fresh. All right. These are all done. Now it's time to chop up the parsley, garlic, and tomato. All right. Need about six or seven cloves of garlic. You want to go ahead and smash those. Not too hard, just enough to break the skin on the garlic. It makes it very easy to peel. Plus it releases the oils from the garlic and it gives such a much better flavor. I'll go ahead and chop this up, smash it some more, and then start chopping it up. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and chop up some parsley. We want to go ahead and remove the leaves. You want to get rid of as much as the stem as you can because it's very bitter. not very difficult to remove just the leaves. Okay. I'm going to chop that up. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut up these tomatoes. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and fill my pot of water. We wanna get that ready because uh, it only takes about eight to 10 minutes to cook this dish in a frying pan. So you wanna have the pasta ready to go uh, once the uh, scampi is all cooked. All right, got my water going. Put my heat on high. Put some salt in there. Put about three tablespoons. Beautiful. And we'll get that going. Once this comes to a boil and I put the pasta in the water, then I'm going to go ahead and prepare the scampi in a frying pan. Today I'm going to be cooking uh, Del Checo, one of my favorite pastas. Uh, this is Linguini number seven. Okay, frying pan is hot. I'm going to go ahead and add. Uh, three tablespoons of olive oil. Let that get hot real quick. Okay, I've added my garlic to the hot oil. I'm just gonna let that fry up just a little bit. We don't want it to get brown or anything. It's gonna be translucent in color before we put the shrimp in. Beautiful.
Now we're going to go ahead and add the shrimp. Slide that right in there. Let's get them all even on the pan there. I'm going to let this cook for about two minutes. See how that pasta is coming along. Very nice. Got another five minutes or so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn over the shrimp. As soon as they get a little pink on one side, you go ahead and flip them over. That one doesn't want to flip. There we go. That one either. Okay. I was losing my clutch there for a moment. Yeah, nice and pink. The shrimp are looking. Okay. Let that cook for about two minutes. Tomato. A little bit of salt. A little black pepper. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add a cup of white wine. Let that cook out. Keep that on high. You want that wine to cook out. Very nice. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, add the lemon. Just juice from two lemons works fine. If you have a juicer, that's great. But I'm going to use my hands to catch the seeds. Coming along. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn this off for right now, or lower it actually. Don't turn it off, just lower it. <clears throat> Until that pasta is cooked. And then we're going to finish that off. Okay, pasta is just about done. Since we're putting this shrimp over pasta, I'm going to go ahead and add a four ounce ladle of the water where we cook the pasta. It's full of starch and it will thicken up the sauce real nice. Now, if I wasn't putting it over pasta or, or uh, rice, I would have left it just as it was and put a little butter in there. So I'm going to put a little butter in there now, actually. I'm just going to put uh, probably like a quarter teaspoon of red pepper and then three tablespoons of butter to thicken it up. Nice. 
nice and creamy. That's what we want. Now we're going to go ahead and add the parsley. Parsley doesn't only give it a nice appearance, it also gives it good flavor. It gives it a nice flavor of freshness. Probably about a tablespoon. Uh, nice. There you have it, the shrimp scampi. Okay. Add the linguine. Let's pour that right in a big bowl. And top it off with the shrimp. There you have it. Shrimp scampi Manhattan style. Looks like everyone's being camera shy today. I'm gonna be tasting this on my own. Oh, look at that. Nice. More in there. Get one more shrimp. Beautiful. Let me taste the shrimp. Mmm. Nothing like wild caught shrimp. Beats the hell out of that farm reef stuff. Let me taste the pasta. Very hot. Mmm. Delicious, light, creamy, great summer dish. I know we're in the winter time right now, but I've got to have my scampi fix every once in a while. Manhattan shrimp scampi, folks. Thank you for watching. Have a good night, and we'll see you in the future. Take care.